his truck right there, 90 degrees. my friends today I'm out here slightly depressing it's just been absolutely chaotic this new year shocker shocker and I haven't saw milled in about three or four weeks now close to well actually yeah over a month now I think it's like 80 out right now just joking it's not it's probably more like negative two I told my neighbor I was going to mill today that's what I'm doing I, I, yeah so I like to always document the ugly sides of homesteading and this is one of them <laughs> and I'm gonna definitely have to clean this place up before I start working because I will probably 95% 95% sure I will hurt myself in this type of working environment <laughs> so anyway join me as I clean up and I promise you we will do some saw milling I always like watching other people do these type of videos and then I can just sit back sip some coffee and just watch them <sighs> work in the cold it's a beautiful thing but anyway the uh, as I was driving down here so far down here, you know. My drive into work so far, it's like 100 feet. As I was driving into work today, you know, several hours to get here, you know, I thought of a uh, good little uh, saying that hopefully is my saying that I made up. I definitely didn't hear anybody else say this. Like, sincerely, I didn't. Um, so, when in doubt, praise the Lord. So there you go. Saying of the day. I have like five layers of clothing on, so it is awesome. Good stinking coffee, man. If you really filled for that, uh, that's hilarious. But anyway, somewhat cleaned up. I had the part with some semi-good boards. Whatever, I'm gonna have a billion more boards in my life, it's fine. I did keep like two or three boards. There, if I kept every board I milled, I would literally have enough, I'd probably have enough wood to make a miniature size Noah's Ark. Everything around here somewhat cleaned up a little bit better, as you can see much better not I mean not perfect but workable workable that's all it needs to be now I have loads of space here but all of our tools on the farm get we run it with non-ethanol except for the trucks and if non-ethanol was cheap enough we would probably run everything on it but you know it's working up a sweat over here when you stop moving and running around and chainsawing and stuff you start that you start to uh, cool off, as they say. Inspection time. I'm gonna be cutting all pine today, and oh my goodness, I love cutting pine. Just hopefully pine with no nails in it. He has never given me a log with nails or metal in it, so that's been a big praise the Lord. One of his logs that I did see, it's a big log, but it has, but it has it has like screws and junk in it, so I don't really know if I want to even touch that. So,
Wake up, old gal. For any of any of our new followers out there watching, it's gonna rain. For any of our new followers out there, us kids, us three brothers, were able to save up enough money and buy us a sawmill. The biggest sawmill that Woodland Mills makes. So, anyway, she gonna rain now. So anyway, I just wanted to show you all this. This was bought with 100% of all of us brothers' money. Our parents encouraged us and helped us work with our little business and everything like that. But other than that, we had to earn it and make it and everything like that. So all three of us brothers are living out our dreams right now. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool. And then if I spin you around over here, dun, dun, da, da, da. there you go. That's another dream coming to be reality that the Lord has been blessing us with too. So it's very nice, very, very nice. Big blessings. The other thing, the other thing that I do like about hurry up and be quiet and do something but I am so glad we got a roof over here because I uh, uh, there you go I'm gonna get a log and put it under there underneath the roof and hopefully I don't get too wet hey I told my neighbor I was gonna melt a little bit of rain ain't gonna stop me hopefully oh yeah baby Did all this prep work anyway. And I'm not gonna be able to do it because of James, so y'all can all blame James for not seeing saw milling rate this second. So anyway, the log's all set up here, but supposedly James need to, needs to run to, needs a ride to Home Depot, so I'm gonna have to go drive him to Home Depot. Then if I, I should have enough light Hopefully I'll have enough light left to come and finish at least one log today, but I guess we'll see. At least the log's out here. All the hard work is done. My neighbor just wants these cut up into one inch slabs, so that's super easy. But anyway, off we go to Home Depot. So I was able to afford, <laughs> at the time, of buying the sawmill, buying the sawmill, I was able to afford buying 30 blades with it. And I am so happy I bought so many blades because I'm gonna need them. Because when I bought an automatic sharpener and everything like that too, which was a huge blessing. You might be saying why, well, the automatic sharpener and the automatic and the other automatic tooth setter take up a lot of space. Y'all's battery's just about to die, so I guess we'll see how long it'll last. We're back. Buddy's over here, he made me a beautiful campfire. All right, so, Lord willing, I sincerely mean this, blade won't pop off, because there's always the chance, you know? Any of y'all don't know, these blades, at least these ones, I found a little bit of a cheaper spot to get them. These blades are $25 a piece. It's a little rough on the wallet when you d blow one up in like 10 seconds because these will last, you can sharpen them five or six times until you gotta throw them away. You know, you just gotta do this, all this kind of little mundane stuff so then your machine will last a long time, you know? 
It's the only thing I like about the cold is I get to see my breath. So satisfying. a board and a half right there. And it's been one, exactly one hour. Milled this whole entire log here. Had to adjust it a couple times. My sawmill can't go, I mean it can of course. It can go down to one inch. But the trickier part is, is trying to uh, use the clamps so you can do it but I don't like risking blowing up a $20 blade so I just gets a uh, 2 by 12 which is perfectly fine by me he got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven boards super cool very easy for me to do and this is actually not going to my neighbor this is actually going this log anyway is going to the guy that gave us all, that is giving me and my neighbor loads of wood. So it's my other neighbor that I have not yet met. I have not met him yet, but he is in for a surprise. He's in for some epic wood. This was a game changer, having this gigantic fire right here. Because the heat is bouncing up into here and making this whole little space in there slightly warmer than out here where it's like 30 something degrees. I think that's all for today my friends. I would probably maybe do one more log, but I have to go do another I have to go uh, I have to go do some something for another neighbor. So anyway, he just needed me to pick up some packages so then nobody would steal them over the weekend. So that's what I'm gonna go do, run, go get them. By the time I get back, I think I'll be ready to go chill out with my pops and my mom and the fam. So anyway, thank y'all. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Absolutely enjoyed myself. Hopefully y'all liked it from the comfort of your couch or wherever you were watching this, but we will catch y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.